In this video, I'll walk you through a powerful ComfyUI workflow that targets just the face in an image. It detects them automatically, enhances or fixes the details, and blends everything back seamlessly. All right, let's get into things. First, you'll need the workflow file. All the downloads can be found in the description. Once downloaded, just drag it directly onto your Comfy UI canvas and it'll load everything automatically. Now for the models. We'll be using the Flux Crea Blaze model in GGUF format, but you can use the full model if you've got the VRAM for it, but the GGUF models are also really good still. Next, grab the clip models named T5XXL and clip L. These are required by Flux models for interpreting prompts. We also need the VAE file called AE.SafetyTensors. This makes sure your colors and textures decode correctly. If you have worked with Flux models before, you should already have these. Once you have all of those, place them in the right folders. Drop the Flux Crea Blaze GGUF model into the UNet folder inside your comfy UI directory. The clip models go into to model slash clip and the VAE file into model slash VAE. Now go back to Comfy UI and load the workflow if you haven't already. You might see some red nodes showing up. That just means you're missing some custom nodes. Luckily, it's super easy to fix. Click the manager button in the top right, then choose install missing custom nodes. Comfy will show you a list of what's missing. Just click install next to each one. It usually only takes a few seconds. Once everything is installed, restart Comfy UI, then reload your workflow and those red boxes should be gone. Quick pause. I noticed that nine out of 10 viewers are not actually subscribed. If you want to learn more powerful Comfy workflows like this, hit subscribe and you'll always be up to speed. Here's where the fun starts. The first part of this workflow is all about isolating the face in your image. It uses YOLO V8 to automatically find the face and draw bounding boxes around them. If it doesn't find a face, just lower the detection threshold slightly. That makes it more sensitive and usually fixes the issue. Once the face is found, the box is passed to a model called SAM, which creates a clean segmentation mask around the face. You can adjust the dilation if the mask feels too tight. Bumping it up helps include edges like hair or ears for a more natural blend. After that, we apply a soft blur to the edge of the mask. This helps the enhanced face transition smoothly back into the original image. And finally, a cropped face area is resized for enhancement. The default resolution is 1024 pixels, which gives the most detail. But if you're working with very limited VRAM, you can lower this to 768 or even 512 and still get decent results. Once the face is cropped and masked, it's time to enhance it. That's where Flux Crea Blaze comes in. If you're using the full model, load it with the standard diffusion model loader. If you're using the GGUF version, load it through the UNet loader instead. Make sure you're also loading the correct clip models and don't forget the VAE. If you load all of these correctly, the workflow will be ready to go. It's just waiting for a prompt. Just a simple positive prompt describing how you want the face to look. Something like ultra realistic, sharp eyes, detailed skin texture, natural lighting, that works really well. Keep it short and specific. Now let's talk about denoise strength. This is how much the model will change the original face. A lower value, like 0.1 to 0.25, will make subtle improvements without changing the face structure. If the face is blurry or really rough, you can push it to 0.5 or even 0.75 for stronger corrections. You can also add a little latent noise, say 0.05 to 0.2, to avoid that overly smooth look. All right, now here's where this workflow really shines. And honestly, it's kind of genius. It skips all the heavy lifting at the beginning of the diffusion process and jumps straight into the final stretch by just using the low sigmas. Now, if you're not familiar with sigmas, here's the quick version. High sigmas are where the model is still figuring out the structure of the image. It's messy and full of noise. That's where you'd usually see major shape changes or composition tweaks. But we don't need that because the image is already formed. We just want to make it look better. By working only with low sigmas, the model focuses purely on refining what's already there, adding sharpness, improving texture, and enhancing realism without changing the identity or structure of the face too much. And because of that, we only need four steps to get results that look incredible. Set your sampler to Uni PC, your scheduler to SGM Uniform, and you're good to go. Fast, clean, and super efficient.
Once the enhancement is complete, the improved face is automatically blended back into the original image using those soft mask edges we set up earlier. The rest of the image remains untouched. Background, hair, everything else stays exactly as it was. The final image is saved to your output folder with whatever file name prefix you set in the save image node. No manual editing, no extra steps. Now let's take a look at some more examples. Here you can see how it fixes the face without any problems. And as you can see, the rest of the image stays exactly the same. On this example, you can see how it added a lot of realism to the skin. Look at that detail. It's also really good at fixing faces that are far away. So there you go, a face-only enhancement workflow that gives you sharp, clean details without touching anything else in the image. If you found this helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more Comfy UI tutorials, and let me know in the comments what kinds of workflows you want to see next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.